why I made a synthesizer. So it was 2020, like a lot of people, I was stuck inside and I had a little bit of what they call gear acquisition syndrome. I was specifically getting kind of obsessed with the sound of oscillators as they detune against each other. Some people call this a super saw, but I think you can go a lot deeper than that. Once I got over the obsession with how a single oscillator detunes against another one or a few oscillators detune against each other, then I took it one step further and I started to think about what different voices sound detuned against each other with oscillators that are also detuning against each other. What about multiple oscillators and multiple voices? I started to build myself absurdly complex systems that could pull this off. I made a whole Eurorack multi-voice module with multiple oscillators that could do this. I created these complex VCV rack patches. I hacked Reaper so that I could use Serum or Vital in a per voice detuned kind of a way. No matter what, it sounded really good, but it was always clunky and cumbersome to really work with. So somewhat reluctantly, I started to build it. I wanted something that was modern in terms of how you use it, modern in terms of modulation, but also had this vintage kind of detuned, crunchy analog soul to it. First, I hired Nolan, an incredibly talented programmer. I knew very little about programming in C++ and the stuff that we really needed to pull it off. So luckily Nolan came in clutch, got the whole thing started, built a core part of the architecture, but I could only afford to hire Nolan part-time. So I got a little impatient. He was doing a great job, but this stuff takes time. And I started to slowly start to fill in some gaps here and there. I wrote a lot of the effects. I started to take ownership of bigger and bigger parts of the code, solving bugs and fixing everything. And by the end, I was doing quite a lot to push this thing along. So we did it. We pulled it off. We created Infinite Flow. It is a modern synth with analog soul to it. And people who connect to it seem to really connect to it. I consider it to be sort of an homage to classic poly synths. We have a voice variance engine and we created 12 very careful models of classic synths like Jupiters and Prophets, Oberheims, which you can take and you can change for any of your patches. You can also dial in a percentage to get it off in exactly the way you want. There are a ton more videos over on my company's page, Silent Audio, which I'll link to below. You can also check it out at silent.audio slash infinite flow.